Previously on Caprice and Ella. I have a hard time believing this. I really am. Ava, I know. I'm upset too. It's bad enough that Sierra and Lisa are at your nephews. All right. You hissed at Brandon 30 times in five minutes. Yeah. And you are meowing your head. You were yowling. Yeah, I was. But, you're still a hero, Caprice. I'm, oh, God. I have got to find a way. I have got to find a way to get that $350 back. Somehow, some way. And if I have to break, and... And I can't break the law doing it. Because someone's going to pay me. For causing this whole mess. They started in the first place. And they will pay. Oh, just give me about a few more hours, girls. Then, um... I'll start moving to things. It shouldn't be too much of a problem for the pest control guy. That both you girls growled, yowled, hissed, barked at. And I do not blame you one bit for it, Caprice and Ella. I'm really proud of both of you. All right, it'll probably take me about a half an hour or so to get everything done, okay? Yep, yep, four hours from now should be good to go. You just want to make sure it's dry before you sit on the furniture or anything like that, okay? Okay, thank you. That's the most, that's the most important part. It might dry quicker, but we blanket it with four hours. Just make sure it's dry before you go back. Okay, thank you. But I do know I just snap. I tell you, some people just put me through a lot of stress is knowing that I came to Fort Wayne prepared. Well, folks, this has taken a surprising turn. Um, I just found out that a daughter I had thought to have died. It turns out she ran away. And she was found two hours ago. So this comes as a surprise. And that daughter's name is Tabitha.
<laughs> Jenna and I will be just fine. Mom's coming to my high school graduation. Oh my god. <sighs> ah. Me. Yeah, definitely need some f***ing TLC here. Huh. That... Ugh. No wonder this, this place is f***ing hell. I am happy and excited to see you have made the move, Dad. Martin and I have been in Fort Wayne since 2016 and I made the move after I graduated from Indiana Wesleyan University. It's too bad that Tiffany won't join us yet. Dad, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake in July 2018 I shouldn't have run away. I realize now that leaving was a bad decision. I want to make things right now that it has nearly been six years. I missed you, Dad. I want to try to work things out because I was scared and confused. I needed your help back then, and I now need your help today. I know, Tabitha. Man, I know, I know I have been hard on you. Just as much as I've been hard on Samantha and Tiffany before they passed. So that's what happened to Sammy and Tiffany. I know, look, this is not about your mother passing away in 2010. You were seven and just a kid. I was devastated too. Ever since mom died, I felt that I had an ass load of responsibilities. I can't believe I ran away over some chore called cleaning my room. Yeah, I I just can't believe you ran you you ran away like that and did something so stupid. And I, and I can't believe. Oh, God. God. If only I did not push you hard, harder than that, I could have been a lot easier on you. I've watched a lot of their man clips on YouTube and some struck nerves to me. I just can't believe it was something so stupid over a couple of household chores. But you still have to pull your weight around here. At least I did not end up like Alyssa and Bustamante. That girl who killed a, a nine-year-old girl in Missouri. Now you have two new half-sisters. You have... You have me. I'm Brianna, your stepmother. Four nieces. Allison, Pia, Christina, and Leah. There's also Capri Sanella. And a nephew, Michael II. I know I remember Ollie San as my niece. So you're going to have a little bit more support than you did in 2018. Kind of odd that you're 20 years older than me and I am 20 years older than my half-sister Sierra and Lisa. And even though 
Tiffany passed away in 2021 from the same liver and kidney failure that also took your grand paternal grandmother 22 years ago. And the same liver and kidney failure that your half-sister Samantha had died from in 2020. Diabetes definitely runs in the family. I know Grandma Margaret had diabetes. If you look closer at your nieces and nephew, Tabitha, you might see a little bit of Tiffany and Samantha in them. There's at least three generations of diabetes I know of. But, uh... I was addicted to opioids after I had that back injury playing basketball. I do know you, uh, had... had been addicted to opioids and you ended up getting clean. And for that, I gotta blame your mom for it. Especially in last couple of months of your mom being alive. I tell you, Dad, I had no and idea that Mom had done meth, and we did our best to keep the materials out of her reach. Before Mom died in 2010, you and Mom were talking about divorce. And Tabitha, there is a reason I didn't get this, didn't get these, this, uh... That's one of the ingredients used in meth, pseudoephedrine. It's kind of cold relief. So that was why you got non-pseudoephedrine nasal decongestants over the and years. And I know your mom did. By a lot of them. Dad, it was just pure coincidence that mom's death in 2010 saved and you from the messy divorce. You know, your mom and I were... We're going to get a divorce and... I, w I will say the only thing that your mom... Did positively and... She didn't want to go through that messy divorce, and... I remember. I just finished the first grade year, and, and I wasn't and the same after Mom passed on June 1st, 2010. That one day, I got the call that your mom was gone. I mean, all those years you had this nasal congestion, you had to settle for less because you feared mom would steal them for her meth habit. Because these were the main ingredients of methamphetamine. Same methamphetamine addiction your mom had. And I made sure you did not see your mom doing drugs. And I know and I know I've done everything I could And, and recently I had a major cold and I hadn't purchased one of these since 95. So that's why I don't, I never really get that type of cold medication. I 
I'm, I'm sorry, Tabitha. I, I was just wrong to push you away like that six years ago, and now you and I are paying the price. You're not finishing high school, and you almost did not end up like me. That's the good part. I have to go. I'll deal with it. Listen, I have to go, okay? Listen, I have to go. No caprice. Not right now. But I will when I get back. I've got to go. Really? Is it really that f***ing important, Ava? Yes, Caprice. I have to go. I'll, I'll deal with... Fuck. I, I have to go. I have to go. I'll, I'll deal with... Look, I'll give you some attention when I return, okay? I know that's going to be. Huh. <sighs> Man. <sighs> that cat ain't right. Together because it's pretty amazing, but they've done studies, and if someone receives a letter, or well, recently, a shocking turn of events have happened. Last week, I found out. That a daughter of mine, Tabitha, who was thought to have died in 2018 from an opioid overdose, as it turns out, someone in Grant County found her last week, a couple of weeks ago. And my daughter Tabitha is very much alive. Now, she she did come to my place for the first time in six years, and a very true shocking turn of events have have happened, and and. This, this is kind of a, a shock to me. I mean, it's not every day that you have a 15-year-old girl runs away from your home. And goes into hiding for six years. Until someone, which happens to be a security guard that I left behind Marion, actually found her. But I don't know how the hell she survived all this time, but what I do know is I'm going to have to help her now more than ever. And because my daughter is now 21, well, let's just say that um, she has a lot of catching up to do. And believe it or not, 
maybe April the 1st, 2024, but boy, I did have a very damn good meal. Veggie sub wrap, french fries, and I diet Dr. Pepsi. I was all right. You know, the fact that I'm going through a emotions right now. And I've had a lot of like and that bed bug fumigation really cost me. Absolutely dearly. me senseless. Well, got a little bit more good news for Tabitha. She just called me about 30 minutes ago and she has a place to go for now. But, uh, Since, since she did run away from home back in July of 2018 and didn't graduate from high school, uh, she is going to go to Homestead High School this fall as a sophomore. I don't see now. You don't see a lot of twenty-one-year-old sophomores in high school. Tabitha's going to be graduating from high school in twenty twenty-seven if everything goes right for her and me. I'll be a Purdue Fort Wayne graduate by then. Yeah. Hey, Ava. What is it, Caprice? Kitty. Psst, 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 psst. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, come listen. <sighs> that was something. That was really something, Ava. It really was. Yeah. But we, I've got a lot of work to do this week and next week. Yeah. Top of the mayor's death. And that, who's that? Uh, young woman's face. Her name is Tabitha Caprice. And you're going to have to start getting along with her, okay? Yeah. You too, Ella. Yay! Yay! Yeah, I'm just excited to both see you and Tabitha. If that's her name. It is. But I gotta tell you, you gotta be nice to Tabitha. Like you already do with Sierra and Lisa. Remember, Tabitha is my daughter from my first marriage. Okay? Did I ever tell you about my first wife, Angie? No. Me neither. Hey, girls. Um... It is nearly 4 o'clock, and I should be home between 6 and 7. Um, this is a really important good week here. I know you two are 
going to have to adjust for the fact that uh, our Tabitha has been found after six years. So that's a new person you'll have to get used to, Capri Sonoma. That's going to be all right, Ella. That's going to be all right, Ella. And you too, Caprice. Um, um, I just found out that I unexpectedly turned one assignment in late, and that cost me 40 no, not 40, but 60 points. That was bad. First alert weather team, because when we know, you know. Hi, I'm John Blackburn, the man with the money. You can win this beautiful 2024 Harley Davidson Heritage Soft Tail. Register now at blackburnroney.com. It's the only way to win. Call Blackburn Roney, trusted injury lawyers for help today. That's our show. That's a wrap for Inside Sports today. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to stick around a little bit. Yeah. I know, Ava. We're going to live news at 4, bringing you the latest in the headlines as well as the weather. We'll see you back here tomorrow, everyone. Bye. Also found out from Tabitha that she's picking up where she left off as far as her education goes. Um, at the time when she ran away, she had just completed her freshman year of high school, and she'll be attending Homestead High School in the in the fall. That is assuming we, and I do mean we, mean you, Ella, and I, move to Preston Point. And fix taps up really, really good. Because you have to understand, her mom, or my first wife, was involved heavily in, in meth. You have to understand, Caprice Noah, that uh, Tabitha's mom, or my first wife, Angie, she did meth. She got off it by the time her mom and I got married. And and almost 14 years ago, back in 2010, she did meth again. And I realized I missed the signs that she had done meth again. 
And she did pass away from heart attack on June 1st, 2010. My first wife did. But I do know what Tabitha said to Brianna. She said, you know, my dad has made many mistakes in the past, but you're not one of them, Brianna. And I thank her for it. Well, folks, it's almost been a week since my daughter Tabitha was found. And, and she's got a lot of catching up to do. And I'm at the last class of my day. Now, her and I have a day together. And what she doesn't know is, um, I get supplies for Caprice's birthday party. And she's going to yell surprise. And man. So things are going going all right. And I have not seen a bed bug since March 7th. And, and the fumigation was just a precaution. Every measure. Just to make sure. And, and I know it looks terrible to people that things did go horribly, horribly wrong. And when I say out there, and and there are some people who decide they would just rather work against me rather than work with me on some things. And and every uh, Monday and Wednesday, I'm usually at Purdue Fort Wayne as a student. That is what what the property manager at Golf Union, likely Preston Point at the Inverness, doesn't even know, and she shouldn't know that. But I did disclose it because I'm a student. So, <sighs> man, I feel a little bit relieved, but there's only like three more weeks left of the spring semester, and then the excitement begins. You two play nice. Yeah. What's your deal? What's wrong? <sighs> you want some love, don't you? You forgot my love, though, didn't you? You're right. But I've got some surprises for your birthday, Caprice. That's okay. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. Hey, Caprice, cheer up. You're gonna be turn four on Sunday. You have to share. You have the same birthday as my mom does. I do. Yeah.